And here we go with the start of our second match of the or sorry, our, our second part of this pay per view. Um, this is Revolution. This is part two. And we have it's starting off with huge with a women's title match. Natalia defending against Billy Kay. Let's get things started, shall we? This is for the SmackDown Women's title. Oh, Billy Kay starting things off with some offense, but Natalia turns it around. Test of strength there. Like it's broken. Of course, Natalia defeated Billy Kay to win the championship in a triple threat match. Also involving Naomi. And then Naomi and Billy Kay had this had their number one contender match. And Billy Kay came out on top. Let's uh take down there by Natalia. Or I should say a tackle. And she body slams her. Alright, and we got the audience looking on there. In anticipation. One. So this coming week on SmackDown, the new number one contender will be made official. And if title changes hands here, Natalia will wait to cash in her championship rematch. until after that women's title match on the SmackDown before No Mercy and of course after No Mercy will be the Survivor Series and as part of the Mark Henry retirement tour, Henry is going to do something he's never done in his career. One, two, and that is to captain a Survivor Series team. So it'll be interesting to see who he chooses as his partners. If you were Mark Henry, who would you choose? Put it in the comments below. Of course, the Mark Henry retirement tour continues at No Mercy, and he will reveal his next opponent in two weeks. On SmackDown. On the Canadian Thanksgiving slash US Columbus Day version or edition. Or a Raw actually. 
Oh, there we go, sharpshooter. And, oh, running power slam. Shades of Braun Strowman there. And another sharpshooter, Shades of her Uncle Brett. And her father, Jim the Anvil Neidhart. There we go. Oh, nice uh, backdrop there by Natalia. Uh, her, oh, twists her like a pretzel once again. So far, she's turned that pet pretzel cue into a pretzel stick three times. And nice suplex out of the ring by Billy Kay. Talia grabbing a chair. No disqualifications in this one. Of course, the name Revolution was sponsored, or it was uh, not sponsored, sorry. Inspired by the Women's Revolution. That happened a while back. One, two, and Billy K kicks out. So this just announced for Survivor Series. There will be a SmackDown vs. Raw women's eight person elimination tag match. So that'll be interesting. And Natalia's out of the ring yet again. Billy Kay just looking on. Looking to see what Natalia does next. Oh, she's got a chair. Tries using it twice. And succeeds a third time. A splash there by Natalia. One, two. Billy Kay kicks out. Probably criticizing Natalia for using such underhanded tactics. Illegal in this match, mind you, but it's still underhanded regardless. What's she gonna do? Oh, Hurricane Rana! Okay, got her hand under the ropes there. And. Nice body splash, but it misses. Jessica Carr calling this one right down the middle. Nice hurricane run out of her own by, um, by Billy Kay. Oh, hurricane run gets turned around by Natalia. And Billy Kay kicks out at the last moment there. One, two, no. Billy Kay kicks out. The stuff Billy Kay's been able to kick out of is quite impressive here. Kelly misses with a chair shot, but gets hurricane on it onto that same chair. And torture rack. Oh, uh, not a torture rack, but she wins the match anyways. So let's call that a Canadian backbreaker, even though I don't really see it as a backbreaker. And I am Canadian. <laughs> anyways, 15 minutes, and 3 seconds. Natalia successfully defends the women's title against Billy Kay. And there, it's official. Alright, here we go with our Intercontinental Championship match. It'll be The Miz taking on Jack Gallagher. 
Here we go. Miz has not been having the best of luck against the curve rates lately, but he did score a win this past Monday night against Brian Kendrick. He's got a little, or not Brian Kendrick, sorry, uh, Enzo Amore. So he's got a little bit of momentum going into this match. And he has also lost to the likes of Jack, uh, Jack Gallagher, as well as Cedric Alexander, Mitch Long. Of course, Gallagher pulled up the upset victory over Big Cass, which gave him the number one contender spot, as well as Jason Jordan at SummerSlam and then he ended up winning the Intercontinental title alright and uh, referee Marty Elias looking on in this one Miz. Miz hasn't really had the best of luck against Gallagher either. So it'll be interesting to see who comes away with the win here. If Miz wins, he gets his redemption. Gallagher wins, Miz is no longer allowed to go after the Intercontinental title. As well as, as Wild Gallagher as champion. Gallagher taking it to Miz. Miz counters right there. But not for long. As I said, my referee Marty Elias looking on. Still will come. Those are two world title matches. This time there will be no cash ins. As I've said before, if Lesnar loses his championship, he says he's going to go back to MMA. So it'll be interesting to see if Lesnar will win or lose tonight. And if he does lose, it'll, it'll be interesting to see him in MMA. Once again, and oh, tree of ball position. Gallagher taking it to the Miz here. He's truly got the crowd on his side. We learned this past Monday night. Maurice is actually pregnant, and this is going to be a father. Mm. 
that they may be trained to to go to into wrestling. One, maybe. The only time I'll tell on that one, of course. He's hit by there by Jack Alaher. Miz is bleeding, ladies and gentlemen. One. This may or may not affect the mat, but Miz is bleeding. There you see the blood on the mat and on his chest. This match could essentially put Miz on the shelf for at least a couple of weeks. But Miz seems to be doing fine right now. This armbar there by Jack Gallagher. There's an interview we had with Jack Gallagher earlier. He said that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, never mind. Anyways, he said that. Um, that Miz has the worst luck against cruiserweights. That Adam Doom from the Southpaw Regional Wrestling could do better than him. Of course, as we, as uh, any Southpaw fan will point out, it is the same person. One, two, three. Jack Gallagher defeats the Miz and remains the Intercontinental Champion. Let's see how this pans out, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Um, we have our second to last match here, our Raw main event for this big video. It'll be Dean Ambrose facing off against the Brock Lesnar. Alright, we still have hopefully Marty Elias looking on on this one. As he decided to stay out. There's Dean Ambrose. Won the Beat the Flock Challenge. There are two triple threat matches. He won his in the shortest time. Out of the two. There's a nice cover there by Dean, but Brock kicked out. <laughs> And yep. Lesnar now is taking the fight to Dean. Okay. Big hold there by Brock. Where's last night's SummerSlam? Brock won a fiddle. Four way match and then defeated Baron Corbin on the same night when Corbin cashed in his, his uh, money in the bank. This F5 
with Dean Ambrose. One, two. Ambrose gives his shoulder up. And that's how the title retained. There. The last name. German suplex. One, two, three. No. Ambrose again gets his shoulder up. <laughs> Right to the eyes there, the Ambrose. And a German suplex. Don't break it. And there we go. F5. In just five and a half minutes, Dean Ambrose taps out. It was a very underwhelming match, but it just shows how much of a champion Brock Lesnar is. And that's why I did not put that as a main event because I know it would be underwhelming. Alright, and this is our main event here tonight. It is John Cena going for the SmackDown World Championship against Jinder Mahal. Most last month, Cena won a fatal four way number one contender match. Oh, sorry, Cena was one of two winners of a fatal four way number one contender match after a controversial double pin. When Cena and Corbin went against each other, and Cena came out on top. Cena was actually credited for the win by the Dean, but it was a double pin, so I considered it a draw. But since Randy Orton and Rusev got pinned respectively, they were out of the running. Submission hold there by Jinder Mahal. Of course, the last match only lasted five and a half minutes. It was Brock Lesnar defeating, <coughs> defeating Dean Ambrose. Here is next challenge will be. Write it down in the comments below who you think it will be. A new number one contender will be announced tomorrow night on Raw. This uh, bulldog there by John Cena. Nice uh, spiral back suplex as well. Uh, this Wednesday, please stay tuned for old school. Uh, I'm playing on an old school birthday. Uh, this coming Wednesday, it will be old school superstars, new superstar, indie superstars, and celebrities coming together. For a good old fashioned super card. <clears throat> and the big show is going to have a, an opponent who 
he almost had a couple of WrestleManias. But due to scheduling conflicts, he was not able to fight Best Buy, but has wanted to. So this coming Wednesday we will have an eight women over the top rope battle royal. Winner gets the match of their choosing any time until the end of 2017. Winner gets any time until the end of 2017. Well, it could be match against whoever they choose, champion or not. Could be male or not. Whatever they want. Plus, Wednesday's show will be uploaded in two parts. Just like any other pay per view. One, two. I'm considering a first ever YouTube special. And, oh, nice uh, short on clothes on there by Jinder Mahal. And Cena, attitude adjustment. Gets the crowd into it. And a diving elbow there by John Cena. And here's another one. Almost 10 minutes into this match. Still no winner. We saw Bella Buster and uh, John Cena. And Jimmy Mahal taking control yet again. So, all of that there by John Cena. Let's see, I'm not coming to announce any retirement. And uh, he will go quite sporadically until WrestleMania and then he will retire. This arm right there by John Cena. Put in there. Nice shot there. And he ends up paying for it in the end. So they're going to do, oh, camel clutch. She used to be Jinder's finisher before he adopted the class. It's DDT there by John Cena. 
Let's go on back up. So we're going to take gender down this time. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new SmackDown World Champion. Wow. No finish here. Just a leg trip. Wins John Cena the world title. Wow. 85% match rating. 14 minutes, 2 seconds. Wow. Um, let's see the official new champion crowned. So, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter at A13ENT. Um, stay tuned tomorrow night for Raw. As we will find out who Brock Lesnar's next opponent will be. Of course, as always, stay frosty, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you tomorrow.